everyone, it's Kay. Before I begin, I have a warning. This picture in this video looks like a giant mutant cockroach. So, I've turned off my MTX to hide it as much as possible, but it might still be disturbing for some people. In this picture showcase, I will demonstrate another harvest picture, the wild infestation queen. As always, I will show them in bossing and mapping using a double cluster build. Okay, let's go back me now. In part 2 of the video, I will go over the skills, gear and gems, and pro and cons while demonstrating map clearing using T16 Promenade. The Wild Infestation Queen is a harvest specter that does fire damage. The main ability is a short ranged AoE with another AoE on a cooldown. It also spawns many little bugs. The specter comes from the tier 3 wild infestation queen seed that you can plant in the garden. For bossing, the 6 link is raid specter, minion damage, spherical, elemental focus, death mark, conquer effect, which I swapped to increase AoE for mapping. The Infestation Queen does fire spell damage. So for the auras, I use Zealotry and Vile Haste. For the curse, I have Flammability. To increase damage, I chose Minion Herald Medium Jewels with Cult Leader and Invigorate Importance. And to activate the jewels, I use Herald of Thunder. To proc EE and generate Frenzy Charges, I use Victorious Charity and Stone Run Link to Culling Strike. I'm also using a low budget AG with Wake of Destruction that gives Shocking Ground. I was interested in the Wild Infestation Queen because its big life pool, high base damage on its main ability, and its minion summoning. Unfortunately, the high base damage doesn't result in high DPS. I think it's because the main ability is not actually a spell. So, Spherical only increases the cast speed and doesn't give a repeat cast. The Spectre also moves really slow and takes a long time to get into range before it casts the AoE. In addition, the summon minions seem to do no damage. Another major con is how disgusting it is. It looks like a giant mutant cockroach. Yuck!
Overall, the infestation queen is a tanky specter that is yucky to look at. Unfortunately, its overall DPS is quite low compared to almost any other specter, and I don't really recommend using it. Okay, hope you enjoy the specter showcase. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!